Alrighty, folks, and it's been six years. Now we're on to Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. And where has he been, you ask? Right here, fucking his niece. What's up guys, Dylan Mini Reviews, back here with another video, and whoa, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> cock, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I, <laughs> okay, well, today we are reviewing Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. This is so weird. What? 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 Well, who? Who approved this movie? This is Dimension Films' first movie with Michael Myers, and they fucked it up, just like all the rest of them, except for H two O. I, I like H two O. But who? Who approved this script? Who thought that this script w would make a really good movie? Because you know what? It's fucking weird. Really weird, okay? So, so let's, let's talk about the story, okay? So the story is is that, well, they reveal what happened at the end of Halloween 5, six years later. Um, and Jamie was kidnapped from the police station by the man in black, and she's been there for six years, and then we see where she is now, and she is pregnant with a, with a baby, and that baby turns out to be Michael's, and that's, that's just so... <laughs> Why would you... I, how did that, I don't, I, I, I don't want to think about that, I... Uh, huh. I, no. But, anywho, so now she's having this baby and this nurse decides to save Jamie. So then Jamie escapes and then you meet up with the Strodes who are all just the giant, big, happy domestic abuse family. And then Paul Rudd is, is Tommy Doyle, and who the kid from the first one, and he's really weird now. And he, um, and then he finds Lori's baby after, after, I mean, not Lori, I mean Jamie. He finds Jamie's baby after Jamie was murdered by Michael. And then after that, Dr. Loomis comes into the picture, and then there's, and then there's a, it re, it's revealed that a thorn cult is controlling Michael, and it gets really weird. So, <laughs> what you, what, the pros for this movie, let's talk about that, okay? Because I have a lot of the cons. My pros? Well, uh, I only have, uh, I only have a couple pros for this movie, okay? Numero uno is Michael. They, they did Michael right. You know, he's intimidating, he's scary, and he's pretty freaking brutal. He, he's pretty brutal in this one. He's, there's literally a whole scene of him slaughtering a bunch of doctors. Um, the next, another pro is the mask. I really like the mask in this one. It looks really good. Um, another pro is the mom, the mother, Karen, I believe is her name. Uh... Maybe I don't know. I, I I I forgot her name, and I watched this movie a, a couple of minutes ago. So yeah, but uh, yeah, and she's pretty good at acting, you know. And then that's it for my pros for this movie. Wow. Now let's get into the cons of this movie. Um. Con, con number one is the the fact that Michael somehow got his sperm into Jamie's belly. I, you know what I I like this is what I like to think. I like to think that while Michael is conked out, you know he was asleep. Um, the cult people got his semen somehow. They. They did some 
hand exercises on Michael, and they got what they needed, and then they put it inside Lori through a hopefully a, a not needle syringe, and that's how it happened. That's what I like to. I do not want to think that Michael raped Lori, because that has never, I, I never once have I thought of Michael and thought rapist. But yeah, that's that's what I like to think. Now, another con is, um, the, the, the whole thorn thing. Okay, okay, well you find out that the, um, that the, that the cult leader is that dude from the original Halloween, from that one scene, who barely said anything. The Lunas complaining scene, you know, and it and it's him, and it's like, all right, this is what we're doing now. No one remembers who this guy is, but you know what? Sure, sure. And then uh, another con. Well, I mean, okay, well, well, I'm sorry, I'm not done with the con yet. I just realized the the old thorn thing. It's so stupid. Michael doesn't need a reason for why he kills. He doesn't, and that's what the new movie does well, but we're not talking about that one. Yes, I, I saw it last night, and I really liked it. I, I liked it a lot. I can't wait to talk about it, if I'm being totally honest. Anyways. So... It's just the whole thorn thing. It makes no sense. The whole tribes or whatever. And that Michael just appears when the thorn symbol appears. I just, it, just, just like, d die. Okay, just, no. You know, like, I, I don't care. And that is disappointing since, um, Michael is so cool in this movie. He, I mean, like I said, they brought George P. Wilbur back until the ending, because they needed a more slim, I don't know, but it was kind of dumb that they, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Anywho, um, I, I don't know, it's just disappointing, because this movie may have been actually better without all the corn, not, not corn, corn, <laughs> all the thorn stuff. Now, let's talk about another con. Tommy Doyle, <laughs> Paul Rudd as Tommy Doyle is super weird in this movie. It didn't see here the thing. Okay, I would forgive this is if this was in the H two O timeline or whatever. But in Halloween four, you have that one dude who is Tommy Doyle, who actually looks like the kid from the original, but he. The thing is, is that. He looked, I mean, you only see him, he doesn't say anything. <laughs> but he doesn't, he, he seems like he has friends and stuff, he doesn't seem like a lonely loser. And then you have this movie, where he is a lonely loser. And he's super weird, he walks weird, he talks weird, he just does weird stuff. And it's like, why would, first of all... I like the idea of bringing back characters from the original, like, I'm not against it, but why, why would you do this to them? <laughs> I mean, like, I get it, you'd be pretty messed up, but this is just disgraceful, and it really slows down the movie. Also, Dr. Loomis remembers him, which I would highly doubt that, honestly. But that's that's what I have to say about this movie. I I don't think that you should watch it. It doesn't really matter. You know, you don't even you don't even get that much of Michael in it. It's slow, and the entire time you're watching it, you're thinking, why does this exist? I don't know. So I would say that you should probably skip it if you're doing a marathon. At least that's what I do. I get to Halloween five. And I just go to H2O. That's what I do every time I marathon. And so I give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. And that's it for the review. But, but bye. Bye. Bye bye.
I will see you guys in the next video. Something ain't right. Something's not holding up. Something doesn't feel good. Something's wrong about this. I just have a feeling. Something's wrong. Shit, is that you, Michael?